Hello students and welcome to Math Weekly number 7. This week our focus skill is going to be on unit rates. By definition, a unit rate is a ratio that is a comparison in which the second amount is 1. In your own words, you may say it is comparing an amount to 1. Unit rates are all around us, so you have some experience with them. So for example, when you've said a statement like, can you believe I bought this shirt for $4? You are really comparing a unit rate, $4 for one shirt, comparing any amount to one. Or maybe you've heard the speed limit here is 55 miles per hour. That's another example of a unit rate because it's how many miles compared to one hour. Or maybe you say my cell phone uses 80% of its battery life each day. Well, you're comparing a unit rate, 80% of your battery life, to one day. Notice all the unit rates that I was telling you about have a one as the denominator of their ratio. So calculating unit rates. If a comparison is currently just a rate, so it compares two amounts, to change it to a unit rate while keeping an equivalent, multiply or divide by a common number. So let's look at an example. Taylor goes to Walmart. Cases of Gatorade are on sale. One case contains 12 bottles and costs $9. What is the unit rate per bottle of Gatorade? Let's first begin by writing a rate. $9 in this case is being compared to 12 bottles. Now, to make this a unit rate, we have to get it down to only one bottle. Because remember, by definition, a unit rate is a comparison of how much, so how much money, in this case, for one. So we need to get it to one bottle. So our rules are that we can mul either multiply by the same amount or divide by the same amount. Well, what would we have to do to 12 to get to one? Well, we're getting smaller, so we're going to have to divide. 12 divided by what number is 1? 12 divided by 12 is 1. But if we divide the bottles by 12, we need to divide the price by 12 as well. So $9 needs divided by 12. 12 goes into 90 7 times. 7 times 12 is 84. There's six left over, bring down our zero. 12 goes into 65 times, which is 60. So there's nothing left over. Bring that decimal straight up. So that means that it costs 75 cents for one bottle of Gatorade. So the unit rate per bottle was 75 cents for each bottle. Let's look at another example. A group of forest rangers works five days per week. It took the group four days to plant trees on one half acre. How much can the forest rangers plant in one week? Well, remember one week in this case is five days, okay? So we may have to consider that. So they can plant one half of an acre in four days. If you don't like the fraction, you could always turn it to a decimal since this is a terminating one, like 0 0.5 acre. It's fine too. So now we our goal is to get to one week. How much of an acre in one week? Now we're in days and we know that one week is five days. So we'll try to get it to five days first. Now, is there something that we can multiply, because we're getting bigger, we know it'll be multiply, four by to get to five? If you're not sure, you can use division to figure that out. Divide five by four. Four goes into five once, which is four. There's one left over, add a decimal and a zero, bring that down. Four goes into 10, two times, 
which is 8. There's 2 left over. Bring down your 0. 4 goes into 20 5 times, which is 20. So bring our decimal straight up, so 1.25. So if we multiply this by 1.25, 4 times 1.25 makes 5. And if you're not sure, I'll prove it to you here with the calculator. Four times one point two five equals five. Now we need to do the same for the half acre. We need to take the half an acre and multiply it by one point two five. It will be easier to use the decimal since we're multiplying by a decimal, so we need to take one point two five and multiply it by zero point five. Five times five is twenty five. 5 times 2 is 10, and 2 more is 12. 5 times 1 is 5, and 1 more makes 6. We don't need to multiply the 0, because 0 times anything is just 0. But we have 1, 2, 3 decimal places. 1, 2, 3 decimal places. So they can do 0.625, or 625 thousandth of an acre in 5 days, which is what they consider to be a week. Okay, let's look at one more example. Which of the falling rates does not equal the other three? And here's a hint. Change them all to similar unit rates. So right now we have meters per hour, meters and hours, 300 meters in half an hour, 240 meters in a fourth of an hour, a tenth of a kilometer in 600 seconds, and 20 meters in 120 seconds. Now I see that we have the most that are with meters. See how we have three of them with meters? So we need to change this kilometers to a meter. So if you didn't know this, there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. We have one tenth of a kilometer, which is 10 times smaller than one. One divided by 10 is equal to a tenth. So 1,000 divided by 10 is equal to 100. So 100 meters is equal to one tenth of a kilometer. So we can rewrite this ratio as 100 meters is equal to, is happens every 600 seconds because 100 meters is equal to one tenth of a kilometer. Now notice all of our first amounts in each comparison are now meters. However, some are in hours and some are in seconds. So we need to change them to a common value. Let's change them to hours. Now, seconds can be changed to hours, but it's easier to go to minutes first. There are 60 seconds in one minute, so 600 seconds is the same as 10 minutes. So this ratio is really 100 meters every 10 minutes. Now, it takes 60 minutes to get to one hour, which is our goal. So if we take 10 minutes six times, that makes 60 minutes or one hour. And 100 times six makes 600 meters in one hour. So this is the value of option C. Now remember, we're looking for which one's not the same as the other three. So let's go to option A. Option A is already in meters and hours, but it's not one hour. It's not a unit rate yet. We have half an hour. How many half an hours does it take to get to a whole hour? Well, it takes two halves to make a whole, so one half an hour two times is one hour. And if we multiply half an hour by two, we need to multiply 300 by two, and we get 600 minutes in one hour. So we can see that these two are already the same, so our answer is going to be one that's not equal to 600 minutes, meters per hour. All right, let's work on option B since we're already at hours. We have one-fourth of an hour. 
It takes four one-fourth of an hours to get to a whole hour and 240 times 4 makes 960 meters in one hour. If you can't do that in your head, you can just do it on the side of your paper. So you can see that this one is different from the other ones. But let's double check D just to make sure we didn't make a mistake. So first we need to change 120 seconds into minutes. So there are 60 seconds in a minute. So 120 seconds would be two minutes. So this is 20 meters in two minutes. Now remember our goal is to get to 60 minutes. So we need 30 sets of two minutes to get to 60 minutes, which is one hour. 20 meters 30 times makes 600 meters in one hour. So our answer is letter B. It has a different value than the other three. So let's summarize what we've learned. Unit rates are all around us. They state how much for one, like 59 cents per can, or $1.18 per pound. And to create unit rates, reduce or expand by multiplying or dividing the rate.